Hey guys, what is up? It is Lake here, coming at you with a quick video. Now, today I'm going to be doing a video just showing off briefly. Um, we're not going to go into depth with any of this. Um, we're just going to briefly show um, my exchange uh, test environment that I just built this weekend. It took me about all weekend to figure out how to install this um, and integrate it with AD and all that. And uh, yeah, so finally we built it. It's working, you know, after probably a good 12 hours spent on it this weekend I finally figured it out um, there's some problems with AD and a bunch of other problems so it wasn't just it took me a, a long time to figure out how to just install exchange um, it there was a bigger problem in my test environment um, that I had to fix and that took a long time um, just because of loading and such um, but let's get right into it showing you guys my um, test environment so first off, we're running this on server 2012 R2. Um, <clears throat> it is running um, the Exchange, um, you know, Exchange 2016. Um, so the latest version of Exchange that's on premise. Um, I was gonna originally do um, 2010, but I decided not to because you know it's not really worth it anymore. Uh, but that's what I kind of that's what we use at work, so that's why I kind of want to learn it. But I just decided to go with the latest version because eventually I'm sure we'll move to this. Um, but as you can see, uh, these aren't external pointing. I don't own that domain. Um, these are just random um, internal domains. This isn't even forward to the internet yet. Um, I plan on getting a dom uh, domain name. I don't have a domain name yet, but when I get a domain name, I plan on um, actually making this email server actually work now I won't really use it for anything other than just testing um, but it'll be pretty cool to have an external facing um, mail server and be able to in, uh, use active sync and such um, so you can see I just have some test users uh, we got administrator um, client one which is just a generic person and then me um, <clears throat> I haven't really set up much in this yet I have just set up it to get it to actually work um, you know as you can see you know we got standard stuff all the mail flow, um, all that type of good stuff. Um, but mobile, I really once I get it externally pointing, I want to set up with my iPhone, um, test uh, Active Sync um, because uh, it's basically like an MDM, just not really. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't really know how to explain it. I'll be using wipe devices, do all that type of stuff with it, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'll have to see how it works with um, the actual iPhone app and all that such. I'm not gonna wipe my iPhone, obviously. Um, but I'll just have to see how it works it, like together um, and you know we got servers um, I just named the host name of this is mail uh, the host name of this uh, server down here is mail and then my domain name is bigodka and then my um, let's go to virtual directories um, once this loads up uh, mail dot oh it's not gonna show you is it no those, those are just the sites uh, well, whatever. My my, as you can see, mail.bigaka.com. So that's all set up. So ex currently, I'm at Exchange Admin Center, um, but I'm gonna show you quick. Um, I did log into my um, user on a different tab here. So let me just quick show you that it is indeed working. Um, I logged into the administrator um, account and sent an email. As you can see, this obviously logged in. Um, and it actually came through. If I were to reply to this, we could just I'll put a s smiley face and just write thanks. Okay, so I actually attached an attachment um, to this. Let me quick open up this, push this to the side. I'm actually adding an attachment to this. It's just a generic image. You'll see it when I send it, so we'll just hit send here. Um, so as you can see, saying I'm online and this is not. I'm going to integrate this with Skype for Business in the future. Um, but for right now, um, it's just going to be how it stands. So we're going to quick log into the administrator account. Uh, I'm not showing you that right now. Okay. So if we pop over and I show you the administrator account here, um, you can see that I just sent um, that image. If I click on that image, it will load um, just a generic picture of a data center here. Um, so yeah. So as you can see, it is fully working. I just wanted to kind of show you guys just the basic setup of my Exchange um, test environment and server. 
Um, so if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, also, if you are a student, I am a student. I'm just a high school uh, student, and I still get access to Microsoft Imagine. If you're a student, make sure you go sign up for that because that's how I got that. I have about 10, 15 server installs, and all of them are activated just because uh, they give you free uh, server keys on Microsoft Imagine um, for testing purposes, obviously, and it works really nice. And I get all those licenses, which is really nice. Um, so you don't need to, you know, uh, use evaluations or anything. So that's cool. But I just want to quick show you this. If you have any questions on how to actually install this, set this up in your environment, all that stuff, let me know. I can build up a, another environment and do videos on this. Um, I'll keep you posted with all this stuff too. I just thought some of you guys were interested in this project since I've been, uh, that's been a pretty big one I uh, stated. Um, so another one I checked off my list. Um, also, I did set up a free PBX uh, system for VoIP. Um, hopefully, I'll get a Cisco IP phone in um, and I can test it. But um, I'm probably just going to use a web phone for now, um, a soft phone, I mean. Um, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like I said, if you have any questions, let me know down below. Please rate, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you next week, guys. Peace out.